hey, this is Lily at Good Team, and I'm going to walk through how to create custom properties in HubSpot. If you're starting off from your home page, you'll go over here to the settings gear, scroll down to properties, and this is the page where all of your properties are going to live. You could see the ones that you've created. If you're just starting out in HubSpot, you'll see a lot of the HubSpot default properties that have already created right when you start off at HubSpot, which is really cool. Um, to create a custom property, you just go over here to this button and you click create. Here you'll fill in a property label, which you want to name it and what you, how you want it to appear if it's on a form um, for people to see. So we'll just say test property form. This is the internal name. Um, you can decide how internally you want it to be labeled. It can be different from how it's labeled on the property label. Um, but once you create the property, this internal name cannot be changed. So you'll choose the object type. There are all kinds of them. We're going to start off with contact and select a group. This is good for internally just grouping properties together if you have a certain system of how you want them to be organized. Um, there's contact information is what we're going to use. You can choose a description if you want. You'll go over here to field type and then she'll select what kind of field type you want. So there are a lot of different kinds of these and they work in different ways. Single line text is kind of the overall it translates to a lot of different things. If you were importing or exporting properties at any point in time, um, single line text is going to be the one that is most easily read by like an Excel or a Google sheet. If you're importing or exporting to or from those, um, it's just a string that you have to type in. It's just a field that can be typed into. So we're going to choose single line text and then you can click the rules. Uh, if you have properties, um, specific rules for your properties that you want to specify, you can do that here. If you want your property to be able to show up in a form, you would check this box right here as well. When all of this, you've decided what rules you want to use, then you can go over here to preview and then you can see how it's going to appear um, either within the contact record or wherever it is, this is what it's going to look like. And then when you're, everything is good to go, then you'll just click create right here. So we're going to click create. This property was created. Then you can click view property and you can see it all right here. You can go over and edit it. You can see if you're using it in different, places within HubSpot, you can see where it's being used, um, or you can make edits to the field type, um, the rules, details, and then you can save them. So that is how to create custom properties in HubSpot. Thanks.